Welcome to the second video in our Blitz video series. In this video, we are going to learn how to install Blitz and how to run your first Blitz project in development mode. Okay, so the first thing we need to check, do you have Node installed? Just a side note, we are looking at how to install Blitz on a Windows machine it's very similar for Mac and Linux. How do we check this? We just run node-v in our terminal and I get a version number of 12.13. Uh, if you don't have node installed, if you get an error message when you run this command, you can very easily just jump over to the node.js uh, website and grab the latest version. It's an executable, so it's really easy to install. You just download and click on it and it will do the rest. Now, when you install Node, you will also install NPM. Now, NPM is the Node Package Manager. We're going to use NPM, the Node Package Manager, to install Blitz, because Blitz is listed on the Node Package Manager's library it's in there so we can grab it from there the next thing we'll then do is to grab this command and paste it here npm install dash g for global blitz and don't worry too much about the legacy peer dependencies we're going to hit enter and we're going to wait for this to install this is going to take a couple of minutes so i'll see you as soon as this is done Okay, cool. It looks like Blitz installed without any issues. So how do we check if it actually works? We just run the Blitz help command in the terminal. And if you see this, you know you've installed Blitz. So now we need to create a new project in Blitz. That's very easy to do. We're just going to run Blitz new and then give our project a name. I'm just going to call it Blitz Tut and we press enter and wait for Blitz to do its magic. We're going to install the dependencies that Blitz needs via NPM. You can of course use Yarn if you prefer the Yarn package manager. And for now, we're just gonna stick with React final form. And now we just wait for Blitz to do all the setup and the boilerplate uh, for us. As soon as this is done, I will check in with you again. The blitz installation command seems to have finished successfully. So all that's left for us to do is to cd into our uh, directory and we then run blitz dev, which means we're running the application in development mode so that we can debug and so that we can make use of the tooling that comes with blitz. Right, so we press enter and anxiously wait for Blitz to fire up. Okay, I, I think it's ready. So we now can go to localhost 3000 to see if our application is running. And there we go. So right out of the gate, we have... Um, account creation set up for us so we can actually sign up an account and we can log in and there's all kinds of cool stuff that we get right out of the box so i want to encourage you to try this by yourself follow along and see if you can get this running as well if you have any issues with your installation please let me know in the comments and we'll try and help you out um, I did have some issues with previous versions of Blitz, but I think uh, they seem to have been sorted out now. So thanks for watching. In the next video, we're going to be discussing the directory structure of Blitz. What's going on under the hood? Cool.